Hello and welcome to this clearing meditation by me, Cindy Eiler. Today's clearing meditation is going to be about working through our energy, through our thoughts, through our emotions, and even our physical body. And we will do this by balancing our chakras. Now, if you don't know what a chakra is, There are many chakras associated with us, but we will be working on the main seven chakras that are within our body and our energy. Each chakra has to do with certain specific areas of our lives. If you do not understand the chakra system, it doesn't matter. Just follow along with the meditation. You will still get out of it a clearing. Just relax. Let it flow. Don't worry if you don't understand something. Just keep following along. And believe me, the more you do the meditation, the better you will feel. So let's get started. Everyone, find a comfortable position. Whether you're sitting down with your feet flat on the ground or you are laying down and relaxing. Please take off your glasses, close our eyes, and when we close our eyes, that tells us to go within. That is when we go inside ourselves and start feeling ourselves and tuning into ourselves, and that's where we want to go. So relax in the way that's best for you, And I recommend that you keep your hands open with your palms facing up. This signifies being open and saying, I am ready to release, I am ready to heal, I am ready to clear my energy. Get in a comfortable position, close your eyes, and begin taking some nice, deep breaths all the way down to the bottom of your abdomen and then let it go and yes I want you to breathe deeply through your nose and then make a sound as you let that air out of your mouth take in a nice deep breath And let it go. And do that a few more times. As you allow yourself to take these nice deep breaths, you will become more and more relaxed. you will become a lot less stressed and much more relaxed when you take even a minute to take a few deep breaths. Take in one more deep breath. Imagine tree roots attached to the bottom of your feet and allow them to start growing just like a tree would, digging deeper and deeper into the ground, getting wider and thicker and becoming stronger as they continue to dig deep down into Mother Earth. Allow them to keep digging deeper and deeper. And then just let them free fall straight to the core of the earth. In the center of the earth, imagine a beautiful giant crystal. 
and allow those roots of the tree to wrap around that crystal, feeling and imagining Mother Earth's slow, strong heartbeat in the center of the earth. Breathe deeply and relax and start getting in sync with that slow, strong heartbeat of Mother Earth. Allow that heartbeat to begin pulsing all the way up your grounding cords, up to your first chakra, which is located at the base of your spine, and back down to the core of the earth in that same slow rhythm of Mother Earth's heartbeat. Allow the energy to move up to the first chakra and back down to the core of the earth over and over with that same rhythm of Mother Earth's slow, strong heartbeat. Allow it to continue on its own. Move your attention away from your forehead area. Feel it going back into the center of your head and dropping down slightly into a bubble of beautiful, bright energy. You choose the color. Imagine yourself sitting in that bubble of energy and attach a grounding cord, another tree root to that bubble of energy where you're sitting in the center of your head, allowing that tree root to drop straight through your body down to the core of the earth and allowing your spirit to anchor fully back into your body. Feel your energy coming into your body and infusing into every cell of your body, allowing your energy to fill your body completely from your head all the way down your arms to your fingertips, all the way down through your body and your legs to your feet and the tips of your toes, and allow your energy to expand out bigger than your body, remembering to keep your attention in that bubble of energy in the center of your head. This helps you to stay in a place of your intuition. If you find yourself thinking about other things, that means your attention has gone back to the front of your head where your forehead is. You want to gently move yourself back to the center of your head, dropping down slightly into that bubble of light and keep yourself grounded there. Feel or imagine your aura around you. This is the energy that's around your body. Whatever color would feel relaxing to you right now, pick that color. You might pick a color that just showed up to your mind when you thought of a color. Use any color that feels good to you right now and imagine it all the way around your body, thick and even, and out about three or four feet around your body. And imagine it moving slowly around you and inside your body in a clockwise direction. Add a protective covering around your aura. It can be a white light or a purple light. Purple helps with deflecting negativity. It can be a pink light, which is love. It could be green, which is healing. 
Or if you want to feel really vibrant and energetic, you can put a sparkly gold or a golden yellow color around your aura. There is no wrong way. You choose the color that feels right for you right now. Remembering to take nice deep breaths. Feel your energy right now as you have that slow, strong heartbeat continuing to pulse from the core of Mother Earth straight up to your first chakra and back down. Your energy is anchored fully in your body and expanded out around you. Your aura is beautiful, even, and thick, and protected around you. This alone is the perfect way to begin and end your day. This is helping you to rejuvenate your energy and to feed yourself energy because during the day you can deplete your energy and you lose that beautiful energy force that you can have with you that protects you from getting sick, protects you from being negatively affected by other people. It just keeps you in the healthiest state possible. If you did nothing else, starting your day and ending your day like this would make a huge difference to how you feel mentally, emotionally, and physically. Remembering to take in nice deep breaths, staying anchored in that bubble of light in the center of your head. I want you to open your crown chakra and it looks like a funnel shape that is a violet color that's spinning slowly in a clockwise direction right at the top of your head. It is in your head and then sticking up with the widest side above your head facing upwards. Open it up and feel it spinning and allow golden white sparkly light to come pouring down from your highest power, whoever that is to you. Some people call it the divine. Some people call it spirit. Others call it God, the universe. There are many names for your higher power. It doesn't matter which one it is. Just allow the most pure, beautiful, gold and white sparkly light to come from this beautiful, pure energy source, allowing it to pour down through that crown chakra and then into your brain. Let that liquid white and gold sparkly light shower and cleanse your mind, feeling it, seeing it, or imagining it cleansing all the nooks and cranny in your head, clearing all of the thoughts from your day, leaving you with a nice, clear, empty mind, allowing that gold and white sparkly light to continue to wash through the rest of your head. Relaxing your eyes, cleansing and relaxing your cheeks, moving down through your neck, cleansing your neck and your throat, relaxing your neck, cleansing and clearing through your shoulders and arms and hands, relaxing your shoulders, arms and hands allowing it to continue to pour through your body, through all of your muscles, through all of your organs, 
washing your organs clean. Pulsing in your heart and allowing that beautiful liquid white and gold light to pulse with your heartbeat through all of your blood, feeding this beautiful cleansed blood through all of your body and your system, allowing that golden white liquid light to continue pouring through your body, cleansing it, relaxing it, down through your hips, relaxing your hips, down through your legs, your knees, down through your feet, toes, relaxing everything and allowing it to continue down to the core of the earth and then slowly starting to spiral in a clockwise direction through your body, continuing to clear it. And then bigger than your body, spinning out into your aura, cleansing your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body, and beyond. Feel what you feel like right now, being full of this gorgeous, cleansing, pure energy, being grounded to Mother Earth with her heartbeat, staying anchored in the center of your head in that bubble of light, feeling all of your energy slowly moving, relaxed and vibrant. Remembering to take nice deep breaths and just feel how you feel right now. Let's start clearing and balancing our chakras. Starting with the first chakra, located at the base of your spine. All of the chakras are shaped like a funnel. The smaller end sticks out beyond your back, connected to a energetic meridian that goes along the back of your spine. And then that funnel, that chakra, is spinning slowly and getting bigger and bigger as it goes through your body and the large opening moves outside of your body in front of you. And that's how the chakra sits in your energy system and also sits within your physical body. It spins slowly in a clockwise direction and when I say clockwise, I am saying that you are the clock. And imagine your chakra has a clock that's facing outwards. 12 o'clock would be at the top. 3 o'clock would be to the left. 6 o'clock would be at the bottom. 9 o'clock would be at the right. And this would be facing outwards. So energy moves from the top to the left, going towards 3 o'clock, then around to 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and continues to move slowly in this direction. So allow this chakra to spin slowly. This chakra is a beautiful ruby red. So either feel, imagine, or know that your first chakra is ruby red, spinning slowly. Your first chakra is all about your basic survival needs, how you live, where you live, how you make money, your ability to pay your bills and expenses, how you eat, feelings of safety and security, home, feeling 
at home. So an out of balance first chakra would be a feeling of being worried about any of these things, being worried about money, your safety, your security, your job, paying your bills, where you live, any worries or burdens associated with these subjects will knock your first chakra out of balance. So we're going to allow that beautiful liquid white and gold light that is coming down from your higher power to come straight down and start cleansing this first chakra, allowing this golden white sparkly liquid light to cleanse the chakra from the front to the back. Just imagine the liquid clearing it and any worry or burdens associated with anything that feels concerning with your basic survival needs is being cleared out and let go. And as this is clearing, we are going to ask the chakra to balance to the perfect size that your chakra needs to feel balanced at. A healthy chakra is usually balanced at between 40 and 60% open. Any closed chakra would be a very unbalanced chakra and any open chakra that's 100% would be very unbalanced. You want to go about midway, but we are going to ask each chakra to balance to the percentage that feels good to it right now and trust that it knows what that is because it does. Imagine this first chakra now the most beautiful, sparkly, ruby red, nice and clean and balanced. A balanced first chakra will feel positive. It will feel secure, confident. It will feel like it is mastering life. It is comfortable with life. It also helps with the adrenals, the kidneys, the spinal column, and the colon. So keeping it healthy will keep all of these areas flowing and healthy for you. Moving up to the second chakra, located about an inch or two below your belly button. This chakra is also spinning around in a clockwise direction, just like the first chakra. But this chakra is a juicy orange color. This chakra has to do with sexuality, creativity, and even manifestation. This is the area of your reproductive organs. So, of course, this is an area of creation and sexuality. It has to do with feeling alive. And we have to remember how important it is to feed this area, to move this area, to feel free to express your femininity and your masculinity in a balanced way. An out-of-balanced second chakra would cause someone to have overindulgence of food or an overindulgence or need of sex or a lack of sex. Somehow your sexuality is out of balance. Other imbalances would be jealousy, negative relationships, 
lack of creativity, impatience, and being very closed off to loving relationships. So let's allow this beautiful white and gold sparkly light to come down from your higher power and begin cleansing this second chakra, clearing it from the front to the back, allowing all of these lower energies that might be collected there, any blockages, to clear and release. And as it's clearing, we'll ask the second chakra to balance to the perfect percentage of being open that it needs right now. A healthy second chakra is one that has the feelings of pleasure, passion, healthy relationships, balance with food, tolerance, balance sexually, creativity, The second chakra is connected to the ovaries, testicles, prostate, spleen, womb, and bladder. So you want to keep this chakra nice and healthy in order to keep these areas of your body rejuvenated and thriving. Moving up to the third chakra, located at the core of your body, right in your stomach area. Spinning around slowly in a clockwise direction, just like the other chakras, this chakra is a beautiful, warm yellow color. This chakra has to do with your personal power, balancing the yin and the yang, Balancing the feminine and the masculine. An unbalanced third chakra would be feelings of powerlessness, feeling challenged, defeated, fearful, guilty, unworthy unacknowledged. This chakra would feel very unempowered if it was out of balance. This is a very important chakra, as you can imagine, for your day-to-day -day dealings, whether you're at work or you are just able to express yourself as a person and what is important to you in your life. So let's begin letting this golden white sparkly liquid light from your higher power come down and begin clearing the imbalances from your third chakra, allowing that beautiful high energy to cleanse from the back to the front, releasing any low energies, blocks, or debris. At the same time, let's ask this third chakra to balance to the perfect percentage that it needs to be balanced at right now. A balanced third chakra is in its personal power in a very balanced way. It knows its self-worth, it is trusting, it is at peace. It knows how to express, it knows how to be in its own empowerment. It feels strong, confident, and can handle any situation 
with grace and ease. This chakra is associated with the pancreas, adrenals, stomach, liver, gallbladder, muscles, and the nervous system. As you can imagine, this chakra is very important to keep clean and balanced, to keep all of these very important areas rejuvenated and healthy. Moving up to your fourth chakra, your heart chakra, located in your chest area. This chakra is green, and just like the other chakras, moves slowly in a clockwise direction. This chakra has to do with love, loving, and relationships. Many people have chakras that feel broken, sad, depressed, emotional, due to trauma in life, due to being hurt, losing people, feeling unloved. And an unbalanced chakra could cause feelings of repression, closing off to love, closing off to self-love, feeling betrayed, broken-hearted, deep-seated grief, despair, sadness, depression. So let's allow that beautiful, liquid, golden, white, sparkly light to come down from your higher power, cleansing this beautiful heart chakra from the back to the front, allowing any of this heaviness, any of this debris, sadness, burden, to be released, to help you to open this heart chakra up again, to allow yourself to love, to be loved, and connect to others and asking this heart chakra to balance to the perfect percentage that it needs right now. Seeing this chakra in the most beautiful emerald green color. A balanced four chakra is one that knows how to love, to give love, receive love, is open to love, expresses love, understands unconditional love, is forgiving, compassionate. It has acceptance, peace, and harmony. Areas of the body associated with the heart chakra are the heart, thymus gland, your circulation system, lungs, arms, and hands. Keeping this chakra cleansed and balanced will keep your life feeling open, flowing, on purpose, having a reason to be here and connected to your soul. This chakra needs to be balanced and cleansed. Connecting to your heart and your soul self will make the difference in your life that you may be seeking for. Moving up to your throat, the fifth chakra. This chakra spins slowly in a clockwise direction and it is the color of a beautiful turquoise. 
blue. The throat chakra has to do with spoken and unspoken communication. So it could be words that you're speaking or thinking or even thoughts that you're having. An unbalanced throat chakra is one that speaks negatively, is angry, flippant, is unable to communicate clearly or articulate with others. One that needs to speak loudly over others and not allow others to communicate in a respectful manner back with them. An unbalanced throat chakra has the feeling of never being heard. It feels that what it has to say is invalid and oftentimes will shut down and not say what it has to say, or it goes the other way, where it says too much. Let's allow that gold and white sparkly light from your higher power to come down and begin cleansing that throat chakra from the back to the front, releasing that anger, that inability to communicate, those feelings of feeling unheard or feeling like you need to keep your thoughts inside. Let's clear all of it. And as it's clearing, we'll ask the throat chakra to balance to the perfect size that it needs to be balanced at, seeing it spinning in the most beautiful turquoise blue possible. A balanced fifth chakra is one that is able to speak truth calmly, respectfully, lovingly. It can articulate feelings and speak clearly, positively, and productively to those around them. It knows how to speak kindly and with compassion in helpful ways to make the best out of any conversation that may be taking place. The fifth chakra is associated with the thyroid, the parathyroid, the hypothalamus, throat, and mouth. Moving up to the sixth chakra, your third eye, located right above your brow at your forehead area, spinning slowly in a clockwise direction. This sixth chakra is an indigo blue. The sixth chakra has to do with being able to use your intuition, visualization, connecting with your higher self, being in a beautiful place of connecting with your devotion and the divine in the unseen world, working with energy, intuiting. This chakra is very important as it is one of the senses that most people do not use naturally. To use it just as you would one of your other senses like smelling, seeing, hearing would be of much benefit to you. So having a clear six chakra, you will be able to much better be tapped in 
to your sixth sense, your intuition. An unbalanced sixth chakra would be one that would lack concentration, feel stuck, would have a lack of faith, would be very cynical, have tension headaches, it would be detached, and it would not be able to feel inspired or motivated about the future or about life. It would be very closed off, somebody that would be rigid, somebody that would not be open-minded. So let's allow that beautiful liquid gold and white light from your higher power to come down and cleanse the sixth chakra from the back to the front, releasing all of that stuck energy, enabling that third eye to open up and see clearly and open to your natural state of intuition. A balanced third eye or sixth chakra would be one that would have strong intuition, insight, clairvoyance, visualization to help with manifestation, intuiting feelings and energies around you, and having a strong, clear peace of mind and clarity about life as it is and being open and ready and motivated and inspired for the future. The sixth chakra is connected to the pituitary, the pineal, the eyes, ears, and nose. Seeing that chakra open and the most vibrant indigo blue. Moving up to the seventh chakra, knowing already, because we have already opened this chakra at the beginning of the meditation, that it is facing upwards and spinning around in a clockwise direction, the most gorgeous violet light. The seventh chakra is your connection to your highest power, to your spirituality, to your true essence and your divinity. An unbalanced seventh chakra would be one that would have lack of inspiration, confusion, alienation, disconnection from your higher power, feeling clouded, burdened, shrouded with dark energy. This chakra unbalanced keeps you from feeling connected to your higher power and also to your own essence and divinity. So let's allow that liquid golden white sparkly light to come down and cleanse that seventh chakra from the bottom to the top, moving out any cloudy energy, any blocks, any low energy, clearing it till it is the most beautiful violet color asking the chakra to balance to the perfect size. A balanced seventh chakra is feeling totally connected to your higher power, being able to receive guidance and messages or inspiration, wisdom, and feeling aligned with your higher power 
feeling a oneness of body, mind, and spirit, feeling at home with yourself, understanding what your true essence, what your energy is really made of, what your vibration really feels like. This connection is your truth. It is who you are. The seventh chakra is related to your brain, your mind, anything connected to that head area. Take in a nice deep breath and let's go back that first chakra, a beautiful ruby red balanced spinning the second chakra a gorgeous orange balance spinning slowly the third chakra a vibrant yellow balanced spinning slowly four chakra a glimmering emerald green balanced spinning slowly your fifth chakra a beautiful turquoise blue balanced spinning sixth chakra indigo blue balanced spinning Seventh chakra, violet, balanced, spinning. Seeing, feeling, or imagining all of your chakras now, all alive, spinning, communicating with each other, healthy and whole. Imagining all of your organs, cleansed, balanced, healthy and whole, remembering the color of your aura, cleansed, spinning slowly around you, vibrantly, and your protective energy around your aura, vibrant, cleansed, allowing that liquid gold and white light to continue to pour through your body through all of your chakras, spinning around and through you, cleansing you constantly. And being in the center of your head, in that beautiful bubble of light, grounded to Mother Earth as you feel your connection to her heartbeat, take in a nice deep breath. And set your intention for yourself, whether it is one of health, well-being, happiness, or something you would like to experience in your life right now. And put that intention deep in your heart. And allow that golden white sparkly light from your highest power to come down, cleanse it, and hold it in your heart center and know that it is. Take a nice deep breath and feel your energy right now. By simply doing this simple technique you can clear your energy and balance your energy and your physical body, your mind, and be at a very, very beneficial state of well-being. I invite you to do this meditation daily if possible. Noticing how you feel. Can you imagine 
allowing yourself to feel balanced and full of energy every day and how that would affect your life positively. Take a nice deep breath. And whenever you're ready, you can slowly come back. Thank you for joining me, Cindy Eiler, from www.cindyeiler.com, where you can find services and products that help you live an even better life. I show you how. Thank you.